Hello, podcast listeners. We know podcasts are a great way to catch up on a program that you may have missed on KSJE, and it's provided as a free service of this radio station. But you know, KSJE is now listener-supported, and so while you enjoy this podcast, we hope that you'll also take some time to join KSJE. Become a member today. It's quite easy to do. Just go to our website at ksje.com slash support and pick the level of support that best matches your budget. Thanks again for listening. Here's your podcast. It's Wednesday morning here on KSJE, and it's time to check in with Dr. Mike Hadabaugh from the Encouragement Lab. He is standing by. Dr. Hadabaugh, good morning. Morning. Thank you for being with us. As always, things are looking pretty good in the lab these days. Yeah, we spruced up, cleaned up the place. You know, okay. Got a, got a couple new decorations back here. A little bit, I, we can see, a little bit. You got, you've been adding to your uh, your collection there, so that's good. So, but uh, this week, our topic is uh, what we're looking in the wrong place, the wrong direction. Looking in the wrong place. In the wrong yeah. place. Well, okay, what does that mean? So when I was in the 10th grade, I had a friend named Ron. He was my lab partner in biology. And uh, one day he came in and said, Mike, I've been watching you. He says, when you walk down the hall, you're looking at your feet. Ah. And I tried to get your attention to say hi to you, and you weren't even looking at me. You were just looking down, wandering the halls. Okay. He said, look up every now and then. You might find a whole new world out there. Interesting. Well, recent, recently, that's, that's been reminded of me by one of my favorite people in the world. His name is Bob Goff. You can look him up. He's got a couple books out. But anyway, he, he recently, I heard him say this. He says, quit looking at your feet. Look to the horizon because that's where your purpose is. Aha. Uh-huh. Okay. Your purpose is found on the horizon, not at your feet. When I look down at my, I love to hike. I do a lot of hiking. When I look down at my feet when I hike, you got to sometimes because there's rocks, right? Sure. Well, all I see is dirt when I look down. And I go, oh, is this dirt ever going to end? Well, no, it's not as long as you're hiking. Right. But if I raise my gaze and look up, I'll see why I'm hiking. Good point. I'm not hiking because of the dirt at my feet. I'm hiking because of the beautiful horizon, the mountains and the trees and the cliffs and the birds and everything else that's out there when I look out, right? That's right. And that's just that was just a great reminder to me that I've been in a season of my life where far too often I've caught myself looking at my feet and not at my horizon. So so that sometimes is just a great advice for somebody to say, where are you looking right now? Maybe you're down in the dumps because you're looking at your feet. Maybe you don't need to change your situation. You need to change your gaze. You just need to look where you're going instead of being so frustrated by the moment that you're in. That is great advice, Dr. Hadabaugh. I think we can all be reminded of that to uh, change our direction, change our, where we're looking, and uh, and keep kind of our eye on the on the goal, right? And then that's a, yeah. that's a sports analogy too, which I'm surprised exactly. I came up with. Keep your eye on the ball. My friends <laughs> yeah, will be ball, surprised. The, my the goal f- line. My uh, friends will be surprised uh, I came up with that. But yes, <laughs> right. <laughs> You and your sports, yeah. sports uh, activated mind. Huh? Hey, well, you're a big Buffalo Bills fan. It's it's I, time to be hopeful for them. I am right? a Buffalo Bills fan, and they haven't always kept their eye on the ball. So hopefully this <laughs> season they will. We'll, <laughs> we'll see how they do. Exactly. So there's always some day. Yes. You know, I was a Cubs fan for a lot of years, and some day we knew we'd win a World Series, and we finally did. That's so right. Maybe this is the season happen, for the Bills. Even in Buffalo. That's, you never know, but, uh, but we'll, we'll stay optimistic anyway, but we'll see. But I think that's a good advice because I think there are a lot of folks maybe who have some challenges and some uh, personal defeats maybe, and they do probably look down a lot and, and shuffle their feet along. And, and the reminder to look up and to see that horizon and, and, and the goal and where they're heading is, is important advice. Well, I think about that, you know, just even looking down, we have to slump our shoulders and bow our heads and our neck gets in a bad situation. But you look up, you, you get better posture, and it's a physical thing. But guess what? It's also a mental thing. Right. If we see where we're going, not where we're at, we will always be more successful. Now, granted, there's going to be stumbles along the way. You're going to fall and skin your knee. And there will be moments that you have to look down to get your bearings. But don't keep looking down. That's the point, is keep reminding yourself i've got to look forward where am i going in this thing not where am i at good advice dr Habal. as always thank you so much you're welcome that's dr mike hadaba everybody he joins me every wednesday from the encouragement lab right here on ksje farmington new mexico 
Did you enjoy that podcast? We hope that you did. And if you did, share it with your friends. And if you really want to keep podcasts like this coming, please support KSJE. You can do it easily online at ksje.com.